All right, so I was trying to do this earlier. The wind was bad. This is my Pieta, my race gun I do the triple shot with. Lately, um, I have had a bunch of videos pop up of guys putting first attempt at triple shot or my attempt at the triple shot. And people comment and telling me that, you know, wow, thanks, you know, you're, you're good at that. I am never been nothing more than an average shooter. Never been the fastest guy, never been the most accurate guy. I'm just average. I built this gun. I practiced for 15 minutes to 30 minutes every night with this gun for a month before I tried to, my first triple shot. And it was a triple shot, but it was not fast enough. Within three months of just practicing every day for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, mostly 15 minutes, I can shoot consistently with blanks, with live ammo, a .2 triple shot. The key to it is just like they show, you know, fire like that. I can consistently do it dry fire pretty often now. When you do it with dry fire, do it with blanks. I don't encourage anybody to ever do it with live ammo, but Literally, if you just practice 15 minutes every day, you won't burn yourself out. When I tried to force myself to go longer, I would start screwing up. I went through a difficult time, even after I did the triple shot, where I was having troubles. I could do it with live ammo, but I couldn't do it with blanks as fast. And it turned out that it was all up here in my head. I thought it was, I couldn't time the gun, you know, get the timing without the recoil on that. And what it was is, when I did it with live ammo, I got into something that Tuco, the guy I, I watched and learned this from, talked about subconscious mind and conscious mind. When I was doing it with blanks, I was trying to time it. And I was trying to make sure I didn't run the firing pin into my fingers and that. So I would, like that, and I couldn't get it as fast because I was constantly trying to time it. When I was doing it with live ammo, because I use ammo that's shooting between 700 and 800 feet per second with this gun, I gotta really concentrate on keeping a good grip on the gun so I don't overshoot the backstop, so I don't, you know, it come up and catch me in the hand or who knows what. When I, when I did it with live ammo, I wasn't concentrating on the timing at all. And I can sit here like this. I can do it consistently when I don't think about it. Right now I'm talking to you. I'm not thinking about it. Yeah, missed it there. And now I'm screwing it up of course, but when I when I'm talking, there's one. I'm not thinking about the timing. Now of course, you know, I'm on camera. I'm struggling a little harder, but and that'll happen too. You'll you'll get your timing off you'll run that firing pin right into your thumb or your finger. But the main thing is, is, you know, just don't think about it, just do it. And if you're having a bad night where you just can't do it, just keep practicing. Like I said, do 15 minutes, put it away. This is how I did it. This may not work for you, but it worked for me. If you do it for 15 minutes and the last couple ones are good ones, stop on a positive note. It'll make it better when you start the next day. But it's definitely doing the triple shot. If I can do it, anybody can do it. You're just, you're going to have to put in the time, the practice. It's not, it's hard, don't get me wrong, but it's not impossible. If I can do it, that should prove it. I am my worst own enemy, my own worst enemy when it comes to overthinking stuff. I had seen, make sure this one's unloaded. I thought I, yep, yeah, it's unloaded. I thought I unloaded it. I had seen guys doing the spin cock. And I wanted to learn how to do it. Bought this gun specifically for it. 
Couldn't get it, couldn't get it. Got so pissed off, I took this gun on camera and chucked it across the yard. I get frustrated when I know I can do something and it doesn't work. And instead of stopping and thinking about, okay, what is the problem? I had myself so frustrated I couldn't think straight. I chucked it. I actually left it laying out in the yard, I think for a day or two. Went and picked it back up. By then I start over. Same thing I did with this. When I couldn't do it with blanks, I couldn't shoot a point two with blanks, but I could do it with live ammo. I got frustrated, got frustrated to the point where I wanted to give up. Finally, I put it away. Walked away from it for a couple days. Then when I went back to it, I started all over. Started all over. Just like I had never done it before. Started just dry firing. Dry fire, dry fire, dry fire, dry fire. Could do it. Then I started doing blanks. Could do it. Not fast enough, but I could do it. Then I went out and did it with live ammo. Did point two. So I knew the gun was capable of doing it. I knew I was capable of doing it. So that told me it wasn't the hammer spring had gotten weak on me. It told me the timing hadn't changed because I could do it live ammo, but I couldn't do it with blanks or do it fast enough. So it had to be up in here. So what I did to figure out the problem was I'd load two rounds in of live ammo, four blanks, and then I would like that, and then I would cock it, and then I would do it. Because I didn't know where the live ammo was, I was concentrating on the recoil and handing, you know, keeping control of the gun, all of a sudden I could do it again. And that's how I figured out the problem. With this one, trying to do that spin cock, you know. And I've gotten where I can do it pretty good now. Not fast enough with either one of these yet. But I had to figure out the problem. What I did is I stuck one, one dummy round in there. I cocked it back like that, just like I was spinning it. And I took it like this, and I spun it real slow, and then I seen why it was throwing it out. On my lifter block in here, there was no way, no matter who tried it, no matter who did it, that the shell was going to stay in there. This lifter block was a thinner profile or something than what other ones were. I actually ordered a, a, a new lifter block in here for this. While the new one was coming, because I knew I had one coming, I actually brazed up mine and then machined it down with a file to build up the thickness of it. And all of a sudden, with live ammo, I could do it. So when the new one came in, I measured it, and the new one was thicker than the one I made. I've never put it in to see if it would be thick enough to work, because this one's working and I have a spare if I ever need it, but the moral of the story is don't get so frustrated that you can't think straight or don't get it in your mind that you can't do it. I had it in my mind that I was never going to be able to shoot blanks at a point three shots, triple shot, in point two seconds with blanks, but I could do it with live ammo and it turned out that yes I could. I just had to set it in my mind that yes, I can do this. Just like spin cocking this. I don't have any dummy rounds out here. All I've got is live rounds. I am not gonna spin cock this here with live rounds in case I lose one in the grass. I don't wanna hit it with the mower. It just that kind of stuff I don't wanna do. But So anybody that, that like I said, I've had a few people reach out to me and, and ask me about the triple shot. Um, I am not by any means the master. Uh, there's guys faster than me if you watch the Triple Shot Club. Um, there's at least three guys faster than me, not counting Tuco. So I'm not the fastest, I can do it. My goal is by the time the next Triple Shot Club video comes out, I want to cut my time from .2 down to .15. I want to shave 0.05 seconds off my time. Can I do it? I hope so. I think so. I'm not going to give up. When I feel like I'm burning out practicing the triple shot, then that's when I practice spin cocking. I have to do alternate them anyway 
so that I don't slack or get slower. So I, I alternate them, but I have to practice both of these. You know, at least two or three times a week I practice this one. At least two or three times a week I practice this one. And as I get faster and better with them, I want to move into fanning. I want to move into some fast draw stuff. So, like I said, anybody that feels frustrated or feels like you can't do it, if I can do it, you can do it. You're just going to have to put in the time. You're going to have to put in the practice. And there's guys that have done it with stock guns, but if you do it with a stock gun, you're, you're going to blow them up, wear them out. Not blow them up, but you're going to wear them out. You may have to buy, you know, you may go through three or four guns before you can do it. I don't know. One guy, I think he said he was on gun number seven, uh, the newest one. This gun was built for it. This gun has thousands and thousands of dry fires through it. Um, it has hundreds of blanks through it, hundreds of live rounds through it. So, like I said, you can absolutely do it. You just have to set your mind to it be way better off if you build a gun for doing it but yes it can be done hope everybody has a good day